Hey everyone, welcome back, and this is part four of data modeling, and it's pretty much the last video in module zero. I was going to put a video in emissions challenge redux, but to be honest, the solutions are in the very next lesson, so I'm going to leave that without a video for now. Um, so excellent. So let's talk about count all characters. We're going to write a function called count all characters. Given a string, it means of characters, count all characters returns an object where each key is a character in the given string, with its value being how many times that word, character, appeared in the given string. If the given an empty string, your function should return an empty object. So you might think, hey, this looks very familiar to the one that we just did. It totally is. So let's go ahead and copy this. Bring our test cases over. Bring our count all characters. So the first thing is our edge case. So I'm going to say if string is equal to an empty string, I want to return an empty object. Then I'm going to create a counts variable. I'm going to return my counts variable. And I want to, now I have a string. So there's two options. One is that I could use split to split the string into an array and then iterate over each letter of the array because it would then be inside of an array. But I'm going to say that I don't want to do that. I'm going to iterate uh, over the string itself. I can. I'm not changing the string. So no real significant reason to make it into an array given that we're not really going to use anything that an array can do that a string can't. Uh, you totally can, though, if that's something that you'd like to get in the habit of doing. Not a big problem, especially at this point. So iterate over the string, and then we're going to see uh, if current letter is undefined in counts object, set value of current letter to 1. Otherwise, I know I have seen this at least once before, so I'm going to increment value of current letter by 1. So let's walk it out. Counts is equal to an empty object. We're going to return counts. We're going to iterate over the string. We're going to change it up this time and use a for loop. i is less than string dot length i plus plus. We're going to wrap the pseudocode just so it's nice and crisp. So if current letter is undefined. That implies I might want to use a current letter, but I didn't show you what this looks like without an alias, so I'm going to show you what it looks like without an alias in this one. So we'll say if, and the current letter is going to be string at i. That's what gives us the current letter, and we want to access the object at that. So the object in, in question is called counts. So I want to wrap string at i in the bracket notation accessing this object. So that's what that looks like. String at i is the current letter counts as the object, so string at i evaluates to whatever the current letter is, and then it accesses that as a key inside of counts. This is the case where it's equal to undefined, and means that we have not count this, counted this letter yet. So we're going to wrap our pseudocode, and we're going to say set value of current letter to 1. So again, to get the counts at something, counts is going to be accessed at string at i, and we're going to set that equal to 1. And then we're going to increment the value if we've already seen it. So it'll be counts at string at i plus plus. Real quick, the only difference that we're going to face if we had counts at string at i would be we are assuming at this point that counts at string, that this value here is an array, and then we would access it at the ith element. So that's not the case that we currently have. The case that we currently have is the letter is the key, and string at i is how we access the letter. So that's what that'll look like. Now that we have all of that going, I believe all the pseudocode has been fulfilled, so I'm going to hit run, see if the code at least fulfills what it should so far. It does. I'm going to take it back to the input window, paste it in, make sure everything looks OK, run it, and you know what kind of shape we're in. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.